Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you what's in my pencil case. So let's get started. So the first thing right inside is this frozen ruler. It's just, you know, your typical ruler. You need that for a school. Nothing special about this one. Next off, we have this big glue. It's the small size. I have this glue particularly because it's very strong. It will, it will stick your fingers together, so be careful, kids. Next thing that we have, this is just a, does that mean one millimeter? I think that it means one millimeter. It's just a, fine liner i use it to write my topics because the tip is so thick i wanted to use a marker but it the marker didn't work it was the marker was too thick and this one is just right by the way if you would want to see how i take my notes then make sure to leave a comment down below i definitely won't ignore it next thing in here is this hello kitty big pen it's not like i'm a fan of big this was just on a huge sale and I like Hello Kitty, I like the design, and also you have four colors inside, which I always appreciate. Next up, we have my Stabilo Swing Cool Pastel Highlighters. I unfortunately have only four colors because at my Tesco, they had only this pack. They didn't have the ones with yellow and orange, and that's pretty sad for me because I love using yellow highlighters. I have the classic version of these i have the whole set with yellow and orange but they are just so bulky that i didn't want to put them into the pencil case so that's that and also they last a long time i had a like neon version of these and they lasted me for like four years so as i said because i don't have a yellow and an orange i have two highlighters that are actually erasable they are from a store called the flying tiger and these smudge pens more yeah they're not as good if you don't have a normal pen then gel pens i probably would not recommend using with these okay so the thing that i probably use the most and all the time are the muji pens and here i can tell you one thing okay i bought the muji pens because i wanted to try them out there was that whole hype going around on them and i was just curious I thought that they were good because everyone was like, oh, Muji pens, Muji pens are so cool, and I bought them, and you know what? I bought, like, I bought a whole pack. I don't know if there's six or seven inside, and I can tell you that these pens suck. They suck so much. I'm never going to buy them again. I'm having them in my pencil case only to finally use them out. They are so bad. They smudge all the time. Like, if you're using highlighters, then don't buy Muji pens. Like, I use highlighters most of the time that's why i have all of these colors the muji pen it's it's good by itself so if i was supposed to say my opinion muji pens is a definite no the style is cute but like writing with them it's okay it's just the ink the ink smudges all the time even after like three hours because you already came home and all of your notes are you know completely dried when you put a highlighter on top it still smudges next thing that i have right here are my five colored fine liners i prefer fine liners over colored pens um colored pens always like skip for me i don't know how to find good colored pens it takes me twice as much time to write something with a colored pen than a colored fine liner i just prefer fine liners and it's way easier to like find perfect colors that you want and these ones were actually from a set of 12 from an overall Polish, like, bookstore. These lasted me six years right now. I think that it was that it was six. So if you will be in Poland and you will see these fine liners, I definitely recommend. They are so cool. The colors are so good. No broken tips. I have two blue pens. I have this frozen one only because I love frozen and I wanted to have a little bit of frozen in my pencil case. And I have this Uni Jet Stream 0.7 pen, which I love writing with. It's, you know, like this one, the frozen one is more fancy and this one is like heavy taking notes. Next thing are just scissors. I've got these from a Chinese market, like the dollar store or something. And I love the fact that they actually have this, like, closing... 
I, I don't know how to call it, like, a pocket for them because... I don't know. I just think that that's so cool. Next thing that I have is actually a green um, whiteout correction tape. I love that it matches my scissors. Next, I have two big pencils. Mechanical pencils. They are HB and they are 0.7 millimeters. And they came in a pack of three <laughs> normal pencils. There's nothing exciting. Here I have a red Muji pen, which is actually in the body of a black Muji pen. I just have it because I wanted a red pen, and since I bought a ton of Muji pens because I thought that they are amazing and I wanted to try every single color, I have like two red refills, so I thought that I'm just going to use this one because I have to use it somewhere. I have another black Muji pen just in case the first one runs out, and I have this pen, which I actually like more than the Muji pens. This one is just an AliExpress kind of Muji pen ripoff, but it's in 0.5. You can also get it in 0 .30, uh, 0.35. And I absolutely love this pen. It smudges a little bit, but it does not smudge as much as the Muji pens. It's, it's good quality. I've used it for like, um, I mean, not this particular one, but I have been using these pens for three years or four years, something around that, and I can literally tell that I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, okay, the, I'm just not a fan of the Muji pens. They did not steal my heart. They did not make my notes any cuter. They made them just worse. And ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm not that surprised because I saw that yesterday because I filmed the B-roll before. I found out that in my pencil case, I already have a broken pen. Um, it's a Smiggle black pen which I carried around because I liked writing with it. And I thought that maybe, because some days, you know, that you don't feel like writing with a gel pen and you just want a normal pen. That's for when I had this inside, but you can see that I did not use it and now it's broken. We can put it together. This will work. Now it doesn't close, okay. So I have this <laughs> smiggle pen, which probably is not going to be in my pencil case anymore. Next thing is this rubber. I bought it in Little, and it's just a rubber. That's that, typical things that everyone needs. The last thing are sticky notes, which I use a lot. I write my homework on the on these. I have one bigger one and two smaller ones. The pencil case itself is from AliExpress and I think that it's super super cute. It's by the company called Milk Joy. I mean, I don't know if that's a ripoff or not. The pencil case is very spacious. There's a lot of things you can fit inside. I believe that there were two more colors. I think that there was a white and a pink, but I'm not sure. So, that's all I have in my pencil case. If you want to see me using these supplies then definitely comment down below i'm looking forward to making a video on how i take my notes so if you don't want to miss it then definitely subscribe and see you next time guys